Well, at 6 o'clock today marks one month since 11 year old Madalena Kojakari was last seen. Tonight we have new images of the young girl. They're on your screen right now. Her family and law enforcement hope that these can prompt any new clues to help find her. Our Lowell Rose has been following this story since we learned about her disappearance last week. Uh, Lowell, what have you all learned here tonight? Well, over the past week, we have found out a ton of details through court documents obtained by WBTV about those parents in the timeline of Madalena's disappearance last month. Share her story, share her pictures. That was Cornelius Police exactly a week ago, roughly 24 hours after being called to Bailey Middle School, where they learned Madalena Kojakari was missing. The 11-year-old was last seen here on the school bus on November 21st, two days before she would go missing. It's a sad situation. I can't, can't even imagine for the poor little girl and the families. Police found out after the school resource officer and counselor attempted a home visit and set up a meeting with the mother at school to find out why Madalena was absent. That's when the mother said her daughter was missing. Her parents have failed to report her missing and have provided no reasons or no information as to where she is. The mother, Diana Kojakari, and stepfather, Christopher Palmetter, were arrested last Saturday for failure to report Madalena missing to police. Kaylee's law in North Carolina makes it illegal if a child is not reported missing after 24 hours. 24 hour period is designed, my understanding is, from law enforcement. That first few days is really important in trying to find the person. And once you move on beyond a number of days, the risk factor goes up that there's been some sort of harm. The arrest sheets for both parents say there was an argument the night Madalena was last seen. It's then said Palmetter drove to his family home in Michigan the next morning. Diana Kojakari says she noticed Madalena was missing the next day, along with her bag and clothing, but still never said anything to police. The bottom line here is a child is missing. Uh, Law enforcement needs needs everyone to keep an eye out. Look at the missing child poster. And if you see something, if you recognize anything, report it. The mother was asked why she did not report Madalena missing. Diana stated she was worried it might start a conflict between her and her husband, Christopher. There is clearly every reason to be focused on these two parents, one or both of the parents, if you will. You know, the, I, we've seen this before. And this is this case is not without precedent where parents something bad has happened and the parents just won't report the child missing. Since last week, police and the FBI have canvassed the neighborhood, searched Lake Cornelius with boats and revisited the house where Madalena lives. Yesterday, the family of Madalena released a statement saying in part, Madalena is a beautiful, smart, kind and loving 11 year old girl with greatness in her future. We are desperate to find her right now. She needs all of our help. We ask for your continued positive support in sharing far and wide the posters and pictures of Madalena. Praying to God that she's found. Uh, that's really all we can do. Now, the FBI is asking people to share this poster that you see right here on Madalena, whether that be on your social media page, on your front yards, or even on the storefronts that you see here right in Cornelius, to make sure that they can find Madalena. Now, as far as those parents, they will appear back in Mecklenburg County Court next week. Reporting live in Cornelius, Lowell Rose, WBTV, on your side. Hoping for the best possible outcome, Lowell, thank you. WBTV staying on your side, bringing you every Every development in the search for Madalena Kojakari. Just keep checking back in with us on air and on WBTV.com.